Hi! Today we're going to show you a very basic but very robust feature of the Dr. Chrono experience. Here we are um, at the home page of the Dr. Chrono website after you've logged in. Uh, you're greeted with the appointment page and what we want to show you today is how to add a new patient to your patients list. So let's go ahead and hit the patients tab and it gives you a drop down menu and what you want to click is the patient list. So we have uh, a very brief list of our existing patients, um, but what we're looking for is the Add New Patient button. You want to go ahead and click that, and it'll bring up a blank template um, in order for you to input all this information. So uh, we have eight tabs at the top ranging from important, demographics, insurance information, um, balance information, and then documents. So first, let's look at, take a look at the important tab. And the first item is status. Now, uh, we want an active new member, an active new patient, and we'll, we'll options later, inactive and inactive deceased. Um, so we'll go ahead and, as an example, use Paul Graham, because who doesn't love Paul Graham? Go ahead and give him his nickname as well. Um, now, you can immediately see there's a red warning at the top. Um, billing warning, missing date of birth for patient. We're going to see a lot of these um, because I'm just going to enter in the cursory information for demonstrative purposes, but it's really helpful to see what sort of information is still necessary in order to do a successful billing. So besides the very standard information, phone number, um, email address, um, and in fact we can also even add a photo of Paul, which we happen to have handy. Um, what you want to do is click Save, and then it saves the information. And in fact, you'll see in the top left corner a patient profile created. Um, it's a little pop-up notification, and you'll see that there's a new line for Paul Graham. So we want to go ahead and left-click that, and bam, you even have his nice picture up top, um, and it still shows you the pertinent information that you're needing. Uh, so yeah, we'll just uh, go ahead and go through the other tabs um, before we finish up this tutorial. Now, we'll, just a quick note, um, we have a really cool feature where we ask for the cell phone and the email address. Now, that, this is for a sort of modern day appointment reminder service because we'll be able to give them um, text messages uh, a few weeks or a few days prior to their appointment, or if they don't like that sort of thing, they can simply opt out with this checkbox. So. We'll go ahead and click the Demographics tab to show you. Um, it's pretty much standard in terms of the information we collect. We, get, we want the Social Security number, date of birth, gender, um, home address, marital status, and employer information. The sort of information that you would fill out on a clipboard when you, when you come to a, a new doctor's office for the first time. Um, now, this is the really cool part about uh, online patient uh, verification and information inputting is the fact that you can do ins ch check insurance eligibility way easier than what you're doing currently. So we have the primary insurance information, um, insurance company, for demonstrative purposes, let's just go ahead and input Aetna, and as you can see there's a uh, a progress bar on the right, and what it does is it's collecting all the different Aetna providers. So let's just go ahead and click this one. It has the carrier payer ID in store. Um, and this is where you input the identifying information, insurance ID number, group number, plan name, um, all that good stuff. Other insurance. And the eligibility. This is probably the most important tab, especially if you are the one who does all the eligibility checking, um, because it, it's great in the sense that it gives you a very immediate uh, coverage in terms of when it was last updated, what the coverage details are, like what services are covered and uh, at, at what amount. So this is really helpful and it'll save you a lot of time. We also give you a sort of catalog of sorts. Um, so that you can see all the various insurance claims that you have pending. Um, we also have a great balance tab that shows you how much has been billed to this patient, how much is still owed, etc., um, etc. Et 
what's really great about this tab here is the documents tab in the sense that you can upload uh, x-rays, other medical records, charts, data, all that good stuff. And it'll all be attached to his member profile. And you, all you have to do is save it. And all that information will be there forever. And that's the great part. Um, so let's just go ahead back to the patient list. Now what I want to briefly show you here is demonstrate what happened, what you should do uh, when a patient becomes inactive per se. So let's say Paul Graham decides to move back to Cambridge and as a consequence he'll no longer be a patient of your San Francisco based um, optometry center. So we go back to the important part and we go back to the status oops, um, and we change it from active to inactive. And then we just go ahead and save the demographics. Now all that information will still be there, it'll still be saved, you know, just in case Paul Graham decides to come back. Um, we go ahead and hit the patient list again. But this time, we'll see that there is no Paul Graham line. There's no, um, it won't clutter up your existing and current up-to-date patient list. And I think that's a really cool feature. So if you have any questions, um, if you have any further questions, anything in regards to adding new patients, go ahead and email us at support at drchrono.com. Thanks for listening.